Welcome back to my channel, beauties. And today we're going to be doing a ball cap method that was requested. So what you're gonna need is got to be glue, okay? You're gonna need your got to be glue. I know some people don't use it, but I do. You got to be spray, either or. It doesn't really matter, but I use both because I need it to stick. <laughs> a melter, that's what I call it, a melter. And you're going to need a cap, of course, cap of your choice. I like a lighter complexion cap. A, a makeup brush, scissors, powder, foundation, powder, concealer, needle and thread, and a blow dryer. You also could use liquid foundation too. I don't wanna just say powder, that's just my fave. <laughs> Now you put the cap on, make sure it's over your ears, make sure it's all the way down, all the way in the back, and we're gonna sew where you see me put my fingers. You're gonna cut from the back of the cap. Do not cut in the front because the stocking is gonna run. Even though it's a cap, it's made out of stocking material, so it runs like stockings. So you wanna cut from the back so you can stop the running from coming in the front, and it's gonna run in the back. You see the running in the back? Yeah, perfect. So you do that on both sides. I did it on that side, now we're gonna do it on this side. Pull your ear through. And boom, now we got the first step down. Then you're gonna thread your needle, cut it into a knot, well put it in a knot and then cut it. Make sure that little piece at the end is cut off because you don't want it hanging on your cap like that like you want everything to be tight neat you don't want it to be all over the place so we're gonna sew starting from the front part of your ear and I typically like to do this because I don't want the cap to come off on the sides like sometimes you could take a shower and the cap may come off but guess what doesn't really matter because you have it sewed down see you have it sewed down so let's say if you're out and about and you know you're either sweating or you're swimming and maybe your cap or your wig might get, you know, a little emerged in water. At least if it does come up, it's not gonna slide all the way off. You can work with it. So go all the way around your head in the back from side to side, exactly how you see me doing it. It doesn't have to be neat. It's just to hold the cap down. And I don't know, I've never seen no one do this. I just did it for my own comfort because I just, I don't know. Something was like, I need more stability in my cap. It kept moving. It was super hard for me to really get it down pat with the whole idea of doing a ball cap method. It took me a while to get it to how I like it. Normally with stuff like this, you really have to perfect it to your liking and then it'll flow afterwards because you're going to see a lot of videos, but it's just to really show you the basics and then you just perfect it to your own, you know? You make it your own, you do it to where it's comfortable for you, and that's basically how I learned how to do the ball cap method, and I've been doing it ever since. So keep going around all the way to the end. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna create a knot like how you would if you was regularly sewing a shirt or sewing weave in your hair. You're gonna create a knot and then cut it off. And then we're gonna move into the next phase because phase two is done. Snip, snip. Check on it. You like it? Let's go. Now we're gonna spray the got to be glue spray all over the hairline, but I normally start at one side and then go all the way around. And I use my finger to moist it in, like, you know, like rub it in, like as if you're rubbing lotion, lotion in, I use my finger to rub it in, to hold it. Like normally I would use a, a freaking, a comb, a metal, a metal point comb, but sometimes it, it kind of gets sticky. So I feel a little more comfortable using my finger. I don't know. It's, it's weird. But yeah. 
Now you get the blow dryer and you blow dry it. Make sure it's dry. Use your finger again or a comb, you know, the, the pointy comb. Use it to press down and push the, the wig cap in your skin. Exactly what you see me doing here. I'm pushing it in, pushing it in. And you want to make sure. And you know what's also a good thing about using your finger? Because you can really see. Well, not see. You can really feel when it's dry. So you'll know, okay, it's time to stop. Now we're going to cut off the back. Start from the back. Cut off the back. And the cap might move. It just might move because my cat was moving really crazy in this tutorial. And I just couldn't believe it because I'm just like, this doesn't happen. I don't know if it's because I'm recording my ball cap method again after so long. Because I think I've done it before on my channel, but yeah. Here you just cut off the excess size. It might have a lot in the front. But yeah, you see how it's coming up? It just started, it just went downhill from there. Downhill. Now you're going to see me spray it and try to hold it down. But it really didn't, it took a lot to get this, this wig cap on today. I don't understand why. <laughs> it just kept sliding. Like, it was weird. It kept sliding, kept moving, but... You got to keep going because once you got it sewn on, like who really wants to take all of it off and start from the beginning? No one's going to want to do that. So just keep working with it like how I did. I pushed through. I persevered. So, yeah. Cut off the ends. Make sure they're nice and to your liking, you know, even, uneven. It really doesn't matter. It's what you like on your scalp. A lot of people don't say that. They just be like, oh, this is the perfect way to do it. Is that no? You gotta make sure it's perfect for you. So as you can see, it's getting worse. Like <laughs> this is what I was talking about. The stocking is just running everywhere. It's loose. It's just doing too much. So I decided to keep cutting. Like forget it. I'm just gonna try to fix it as much as I could, and it got worse. Now it's looking like it's not fitting my head anymore. Oh my god. Oh, I fixed it off camera and yes. All I kept doing was keep spraying got to be and pulling it forward and blow drying it as quickly as I can. And yeah, I had to focus y'all, so I had to stop the video. <laughs> Cause I was over there stressed out. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So now we're doing the other side. Hopefully this side won't be as bad because the other side is is down. It's down. Trust me. It ain't going nowhere. So it'll make this side a little more manageable. But yeah. All you want to do is make sure you cut. And honestly, my little tattoo on my face, it helps me to remember where to cut. Because my hairline is a little awkward. <laughs> So I have to make sure that I'm cutting it in the right spots and doing the right thing to make sure the cap is laid to the capacity that I want it to be laid down on. Like that level of melted and actually shaping my hairline as well. So I decided to cut off a little extra and yeah. That's how I'm able to deal with this side because that other side, I don't know what was going on. I'm just happy it's over because sometimes doing this method can really get frustrating if you're not calm. So, yeah, definitely take a chill pill before doing this. <laughs> so, I'm cutting off the little excess pieces, as you can see. And we're going to get ready to finish melting this thing because, yes, I did that. It was like a crisis. So I'm just spraying the got to be cutting and perfecting everything. And you can do this, like I said, to your liking. Make sure it's to your liking. Don't follow like these videos, including mine, and think it has to go the same way. No, this is just like a little pink print that we showing you. Like, look, this is how it this is how it is for the girlies that want to learn. 
and you know sometimes you might not want to go get your hair done you might want to just throw a quick wig on yourself yeah it's always good to learn so after you spray make sure you always blow dry really quickly because that cap will start sliding up it just will now i'm checking it out and i'm about to finish spraying making sure everything is melted in i'll go over it one more time with the spray blow dry it and i use my finger also to press the little pieces in as you can see as i'm pressing it in it's going in right that's exactly what i do i use my finger slide it forward so the hair can lay well not the hair <laughs> so the cap can lay down keep spraying it and using your finger to smooth it out you can also use the right tail comb with the metal tip to smooth it out as well. I just typically don't like to use it because I feel like it gets the residue on it. And the next thing you know, now the comb is getting stuck to my scalp. Well, not my scalp, to my cap that's on my scalp. And then it just makes it harder for the cap to stay down. So maybe if I figure out how to stop the residue from getting on the rat tail comb i could probably use the comb again because i really don't like using it for this part i typically just use my fingers so i'm rubbing it in as you can see here i'm gonna keep rubbing it in until i feel like i that's enough i'm good keep rubbing it in and now we're going to be using the gel the gel is just like an extra added on like security that's how i feel because i don't like using the glue all the time because i just feel like my edges are so sensitive and so thin i don't want nothing really pulling it out the gel one little splash a couple of splashes and the cap the wig everything is sliding so i just feel more safer when i don't plan on wearing the wig a long period of time because honestly i can't wear wigs a long period of time like i can wear them but I love braids, locks, ponytails as well. So typically, I would take it off after a while. Some girlies, they use the glue and they make sure it's glue glue. Because they're, they're keeping their wig on for like three weeks. Especially if it's done really, really awesome by somebody. It can last. A wig installed with glue can definitely last three to four weeks. Especially if you're also keeping up with it too, like tying your hair down and making sure it doesn't get wet. So I'm using my fingers to massage the gel in, just like I did with the spray, as you guys can see. And then we're gonna just blow dry that right on up because it's still a little wet. And we're basically finished with the melting part. Once you do this, you're basically good after this. It's in the skin. It's not moving. The cap's not moving. Everything feels like it's on stiff time. <laughs> it's not moving at all. That's what I like. When it get like that, I'm happy. Because when it's running, I am freaking out. Because, yeah. Who wants to really take this down Wipe everything off and do it all over again. No. So, yeah. I'm glad I was able to keep that side in place because I would have been super mad if I had to go back and do this whole process over. It's really tedious and you really got to take your time when you do this. So, we're basically done and now we're going to the next step. This step is the melter step. So you just place the melter around like how you would when you're about to put it on a wig and you just let it sit for a couple seconds, a minute or two, how long you feel comfortable and then we'll be back after at least two minutes. Now it's time to take off the melter and check on it. Make sure everything is melted in your skin. You know, it's not gonna be perfect, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's nothing sticking out, and if you do find anything sticking out or something that's 
out of place, you might want to go back in and cut that little piece off. And it was really, really hard for me to get this off my skin. That's how I know I did a perfect job. Because normally, if it's not that perfect, it's going to be easy to pull up. It was type hard. So, you know, I did my thing. <laughs> so, after once you get all the little pieces that's out of place off that you don't like, that's when you take the foundation, concealer, anything that you like to use, and you just place it everywhere in the front of your headline, hairline, excuse me, and on the rest of the of the cap. <laughs> Make sure it's really on there and you'll know you did a good job because honestly, it will be seeping in and you'll start to see it like kind of disappearing, you know? You'll see your like it look like you're bald headed, like how I look right now. It looks like I'm bald headed, period. Honestly, it's really easy to do once you get it down packed. You might have some mishaps here and there. Uh, you know, runny, like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all see what I went through because, yeah, that was really crazy. That never happened to me before, and it's crazy because it happened as I'm recording this. But it does that sometimes, you know. Don't be so bent on the fact that, you know, you made a little mistake here and there. So, yeah, just keep putting that in as much as you want. I like to put a lot because I really wanted to blend in. And yeah, check it out. Make sure everything is lit and ready to go. Fix whatever needs to be fixed. Add more if you need to. I might add some more somewhere, you know. Never know. But we're done. And now you want to grab your cotton swab and your alcohol. And clean off your face because you're going to have a bunch of excess powder or liquid, if you like to use like liquid concealer or liquid foundation to do your ball cap method, I like to use powder. So you're going to have a lot of that on your skin and you don't want to break out once you put the wig on. So yeah, definitely clean it with some alcohol to get it off your edges. Make sure you get it off your ears too. Because a lot of people don't know when you are doing like the concealer and the foundation part it gets on your ears too so make sure you're wiping your ears wipe your forehead and you might want to do it more than once don't just do it one time because that's how you get acne on your hairline you don't want that so just keep wiping keep wiping try to get off as much as possible at least to the point where you feel like okay yeah that's good enough and then you can just move on to the final conclusion because we are basically done like yeah we're done this is like the last part the end all be all we're finished and that's it so i hope you guys really liked my little tutorial yes the hair is in the back period thank you for coming to my channel like comment and subscribe and yeah, we'll be back with the wig that I put on for this ball cap method. Thank you.